giving 90s. It's giving supermodel. It's giving effortless. It's giving best blow dry ever. It is giving I just got my hair done. When in reality, I just did my hair right at home using the Dyson Airwrap. I've been letting my hair air dry in my turby towel for quite a bit just because with the extensions and my hair already being thick, it does take a long time to dry. Um, so this just helps. I typically, after I shower, will put my hair up in my turby towel and just let it hang out there for like an hour or two. I'll do work, clean up, whatever else uh, in the meantime, do my makeup. Uh, but yeah, let's take it out of here and get her prepped to blow dry. A lot of you may already know this, but just to give some context on my hair type, I have naturally coarse, curly, frizzy hair, and I also have in one row of hand tied extensions, so blow drying it is quite literally a whole process. I think that's one of the reasons I put off filming this video for so long. The spray that I am misting through my hair right now is from Bumble and Bumble. This is the Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Primer. This stuff is amazing. I absolutely love it. It has heat and UV protective. It's basically a leave-in conditioner. It smells so good. It leaves my hair feeling really soft. And there's a lot of different benefits. It helps with frizz like all the things. So this is like my go-to leave-in conditioner that I always use. And then next I'm gonna spritz through the Kristen S. Style Assist, Style Assist Blow Dry Mist. I have really been liking this product. It's such a good drugstore find. This has their zip up technology, which is supposed to help with faster blow drying times. And I truly do think it helps a lot. I've had this since before summer and it works so well. Um, it smells really good too. It is very light. It says it's split and smoothing, shine enhancing, cuts drying time, and it also has a heat protectant up to 450 degrees. One more product that I think helps tremendously, but I'm not applying today, is the ColorWow Dream Coat. This helps with frizz and humidity and is a complete game changer. The reason why I'm not using it today is because this is a product that you are only supposed to use every three to four shampoos. I just used it the last time I washed my hair, so I'm going to have to wait a couple times before I use it again. Uh, but it really, really, really does work. It has helped with my frizz so much. It even makes my hair lay better, which is crazy. Um, the last time I went and got my hair color and Katya, who does my hair, was blow drying it out. She was like, what have you been using in your hair? Because just was blowing out so smooth and I told her about this and she went and bought it too so I feel like that is saying a lot. I adjusted my seat up a little bit because I want you all to be able to see the ends but I also want to have enough space so you can see what I'm doing at my root so hopefully this will be a nice angle. Um, first thing that I'm doing is I'm using this just general blow dry attachment on the air dryer. I'm gonna go through and rough dry my hair it to like 60-70% dry. said she's large and in charge this main rough drying it definitely helps to speed the process up a bit and make it so that this already pretty long process doesn't take too much longer than it needs to which is nice so that is one step I never skip next what I do is I'm going to section my hair into three and and I am going to switch out the like general blow dry attachment for one of the flat brush attachments. And I'm gonna go through and really smooth my hair. I'm pretty much gonna dry it all the way. And here's the thing, with my hair and it being so frizzy and coarse and having the extensions, I have just found I like it best and I think the Dyson works best and holds best on my hair when I do go through, completely dry it and then air wrap it. So that is what I'm going to do. I know it can be different for everyone. I do truly think it depends on your hair type. It depends on how you like to wear and style your hair. Um, but I have tried it a few different ways and this is my favorite way to do it. It's just going through and smoothing it out and getting it practically dry. <laughs> Thank you. 
sections definitely take the longest to dry and my one row is in the section that I just dried um, but it's looking pretty good uh, I'm gonna switch out the flat brush attachment and put on the round brush attachment so I can go through and get like these areas really smooth them out and then also do this top section i really like to smooth but still add some volume to the top and as you can imagine i do that best with this round brush attachment this is like such a game changer because i am somebody who has never been able to like round brush and blow dry my hair in my life like i wish i had that level of talent but i just simply don't um but this makes me feel like i do because i only need one hand and we can just go right through and yeah yeah, it's great. We are making progress for all of our sakes. I'm gonna run through and just do this other side, but here's the before and the after. Um, my hair is coarse, like I mentioned, so it does have a little bit of texture to it. It just does not go silky smooth straight like somebody with naturally straight and finer hair may um, but this is pretty smooth for me so I will take it okay, now we are at the fun part and we get to actually go through and start air wrapping and things will feel like they are coming together and it will feel more like that beautiful at-home blowout that I had at the beginning so I have been liking the larger barrel of the two Obviously it's personal preference, but I like the size curl that this gives and it just makes everything feel really bouncy and that's what I've been into. So um, I finally figured out how to use it this way without flipping it upside down. So that's fun. That's what we're doing today. And when I do it this way, I 1000% do think that there's a complete difference in curls between doing it this way and then holding it upside down like I did in my first tutorial. I feel like holding it upright like this gives more of those bouncy, voluminous, loose, like I just got an amazing blowout type of curl. If you hold it down and wrap it like I did last time, I just think they're much more um, defined type curls. I hope that makes sense. But if you wanna see, uh, go check out that video. Both are really pretty, but it's definitely a different type of curl. When I hold it upwards like this, I'm just still gonna make sure that the arrow is flipped backwards because we're gonna be curling back. And I don't section once again because I just like the look of having it a little bit more effortless and worn in. And I pretty much just grab um, small to medium pieces at random, especially with having the extensions. I mentioned this last time, the hair is a bit heavy um, and it just doesn't stay on the tool as well if I do larger pieces. So something new that I've been doing and I think is such a hack, it works really well, is I do not turn the tool off when I go to take the curl out. I leave it on and I take it out super slowly and I think it curls it even more, gives it more of a twist. I just love the look. I'll be honest, I never in a million years thought I would do that, but I did it on accident one time when I was playing around with the tool and I was like, 
I actually love the look of that. So I've continued to do it and you will see at the end, it's just beautiful. done at the end i'm gonna go through and shake everything out and i'll touch up any pieces as needed but look how good this is starting to come along i'm really happy about it i've been loving this method of using the air wrap which again i think how i'm doing it now is probably the typical or traditional way that people have been using their air wraps um, but that's just not how i started out so this was new to me um and i love it it is so beautiful and i love how my short layers curl under when i do it this way too it's really really pretty i think i just love how it looks but i'm gonna switch over to do the other side uh the only thing that i have to do is turn the arrow oops I already had it turned. Turn the arrow the other way so it is now facing back. And I totally forgot about the time change. The sun is setting. So hopefully I can keep some of this daylight and if the color is changing drastically, that's why. we made it before the sun goes down it surprisingly doesn't take that long to do the actual air wrap process um which is nice because the following days to come when i go to touch it up i can do it in like 10 minutes it's really just the whole like wet to dry blow dry process that takes a bit of time um but this is the final look i absolutely love these curls i love how it turns out like i don't know about you guys but i just personally have never in my life been able to get my hair to look like this on one first day hair and two at home like ever it has never really mattered what i've tried to do um i have not been successful until now i have finally mastered the at home blow dry and i feel like i finally mastered the dyson too because i like that i can do it this way now i can hold it upwards or i can do it how i did it last time hold it down whatever it is nice to have options and i would say with the dyson definitely practice makes perfect or close to it um but the more that i use it and the more that i try different things like the easier that it becomes and the more i find myself grabbing the tool and yeah i just love how my hair looks and how it turns out it looks so good another little tidbit that i'll share with you guys i at this point don't put any other product in my hair i don't do hairspray or texturizing spray or anything like that my hair typically does hold pretty well but especially on first day hair because i only wash my hair once a week um i do not want anything sticky tacky gluey like in my hair i want her to be free and just live her life um so if you're going to an event or something you could totally use a hairspray texturize spray whatever i just personally do not but i'm so happy with how it turned out i've said that five million times but that makes five million and one 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If I left anything out or if you still have questions about anything, let me know. Leave them down below in the comments. Always happy to help. Um, I'm excited. Now that I feel quite a bit more comfortable using the air wrap, I'm excited to keep sharing more videos, tutorials, how I touch up my hair, different ways to style it, all of that. Uh, but this by far is my favorite way to use it and my favorite way to blow dry my hair and do it. So thank you guys so much for tuning back in and watching. I love you guys so, so much. And until next time. Oh, you miss my touching